everyone! My name is Catherine and I'm a second year in the Combined Science and Education program at the University of Alberta. I've always thought that I wanted to be a teacher, but after entering university I was nervous that I wouldn't like education as much as I thought I would. So I applied to the combined degree so that I could have a Bachelor of Science to fall back on just in case. I chose the University of Alberta because of how well known it is and the strength of its science department. The pros of this degree is that you get two degrees throughout the experience and starting right in first year you are able to start taking education courses alongside your science courses in case you aren't sure which one you like better or if you want to be in education. The cons are because it's a combined degree you have one foot in each program and it can make it a little hard when you're talking to advisors because you're not fully in science and you're not fully in education. The culture is a little bit different for each side of the program. Science is definitely more competitive, mostly because the other students in your classes are likely going to be trying to go to med school, but you can definitely still find people to sit with and work with. Education, on the other hand, I've found is always very friendly and helpful. The people in the program come from all different stages of life, whether they're fresh from high school, doing an after degree, or have been out of school working for a while. I find that the teaching style definitely depends on your major, but there's definitely lots of opportunities for hands-on learning, no matter what your major is. For example, in labs, you get to do a lot of hands-on work for physics, chemistry, and biology, and education already is designed to be fairly hands-on, giving students a chance to participate in community service learning, as well as practicums. Most courses are lecture-based, and this usually looks like a professor at the front of the room either talking or giving out examples and doing examples on a screen or board. The pace of the classes are usually pretty steady. Um, you definitely don't want to fall behind, but if you keep up a good schedule and good study habits, you probably won't. In science, you definitely need to think critically because the answers are not always given and the correct formula is not always clear right away. You also need to go into the program knowing that you're going to have to figure out your own priorities and work hard to achieve what you want to achieve. In general, I found that the combined program has a higher admission average than just going straight into education, but no matter which one you're trying to get into, I would say aiming for a high 80 or low 90 is the way to go. I would definitely also recommend looking into what your school offers for specific teacher scholarships. Some schools offer scholarships specifically for students who are trying to enter the Faculty of Education, and also you should look at the University of Alberta scholarship page. For the University of Alberta, I find that they get a lot of applications for each scholarship. So when writing about why you exemplify the traits for the scholarship, try to be original and talk about something personal to you. That's much more interesting for them and will make them more likely to choose you. I personally am looking at being a teacher, which is something I can do straight out of this program. If I change my mind during this degree, I could also work in a science lab or upgrade my bachelor's of science to a master's. There are many people who I know have taken this course and use their education degree to go into social work or other humanitarian jobs like that. There are also really good opportunities in education to do community service learning and practicums. These are required, but I recommend that you make the most out of these opportunities, and especially for the community service learning. Try to step out of your comfort zone and work with different groups of people or see what opportunities you have for you. That's how you get the most out of it for sure. Science also has opportunities under the science internship program or even just talking to your professors and seeing if you can work with them on research projects. I absolutely cannot stress this enough, please take calculus in high school. There was a really weird belief in my school that calculus was only for engineers, but I can assure you, most maths that you will take, if not all maths you'll take in university, will use calculus. It is much better to learn it slowly in high school than really rapidly in university. If you can fit it into your schedule now, 
I would also recommend taking as many of the science courses as possible because they absolutely give you a foundation for the first year science courses you take. Courses you will likely encounter in university that aren't necessarily easy but are definitely some of my favorites are the interdisciplinary courses. They're designed so students from every faculty, including science, education, arts, engineering, business, and more, can take the same class and learn different perspectives about the same thing. They don't go as in depth as say a purely science or purely sociological course would, but I find that they are the courses that I've really learned the most from and have taught me about different perspectives in the world. I think it's really easy to get distracted in your first year of university. For the first week, there is something called the week of welcome, where there are a lot of events and free things as well as clubs to check out and I would absolutely recommend you take advantage of that first week. After the first week, classes start ramping up slowly and my best tip here is make sure you're on top of your work. Breaks are a wonderful thing, but if you take too many, you may fall behind and it'll just stress you out. Even getting ahead in courses is a great thing to do if you can and if you find spare moments where you aren't sure what to work on, reviewing and studying are your best bet. For study tips, definitely do what works for you. For me, I found that writing notes during class and typing or writing the meter afterwards was something that helps me remember the information. Before exams, I would also take my notes and copy them into a different document before slowly making them as short as possible and just condensing the information so that I knew that I understood it better. Again, I personally uh, lived in a basement suite just off of campus, which was really great because I didn't have to worry about bus schedules or forgetting things at home since I didn't live far away. I also thought it was great because I was able to work on campus for as long as I wanted to. You should go looking for housing starting in July within a five block radius around campus if you want to do what I did. You can also find these opportunities on places like Kijiji or campus bulletin boards just make sure you're safe, take family or friends with you to check out these places for a second opinion. A lot of my friends were actually in residence um, for their first year and they said they had so much fun and they were able to really meet people and find commonalities with people who were in the same program or different programs and just have lots of people to walk together in life. And even my friends who lived at home still were able to make really great connections. So no matter what you do, you just have to make the most of your experiences. Some of my favorite places on campus to work are definitely eSurf, which is a huge study space. It has plenty of couches and tables, and most importantly, it has lots of plugins. Another one is one of the libraries, and there's plenty of good libraries, but my personal favorite is Cameron Library. There are also plenty of clubs on campus for absolutely anything that you might be interested in. One of the clubs that I would recommend is the Hide and Seek Club. Each week they pick a different building to play hide and seek in and each week it's a really fun experience where you get to meet so many people. I can't stress this enough either that friends are super important and I would say a great way to make friends is putting yourself out there and talking to people who you sit beside during lectures or exchanging numbers with groups or seatmates and trying as many clubs as you have time for. In regards to mental health, there are 24-hour mental health phone lines, free counseling, group family counseling, and peer support groups. To support student success, they offer organized study groups, help rooms monitored by TAs, internship programs, and opportunities to research with profs. To help make students feel safe, the, op uh, the university has a program called Safe Walk, so people may feel comfortable walking home from school or walking to a bus stop or to a residence because they don't have to do it alone if they just call into SafeWalk. The university also has a on-campus clinic which offers health care and a dental plan and it just is there for students need them. There's also finance assistance programs as well as assistance with basic needs provided through the partnership with the food bank. University can get pretty busy and sometimes 
people have a lot going on, but you have to remember that you are never alone. And if you ever need something, there are people and supports who want to be there for you. It sometimes feels like a lot, but looking at your schedule, it is definitely best to plan for an evening to yourself. For me, I always took Friday evenings off, just to relax and put all thoughts of school out of my mind. Some of my friends pick 24 hours. For example, Friday afternoon, all the way to Saturday afternoon. Do what works best for you and make sure you take care of yourself because that's really important in university. The best thing I found that I did for myself in first year was probably work over reading week. A lot of people take the entire week off and then school starts again and they feel like they're behind or they feel really overwhelmed because they aren't used to schoolwork anymore. I recommend that you use at least a few days in reading week to review, study, and even get ahead. And honestly, make sure you take breaks because whether it's a couple days in reading week or a couple hours every week or every day, you need to take care of you. So for anyone who's thinking of joining this program, good luck and I hope to see you on campus someday.